Since day one, Gabe Shevchek's life was one of adversity. He was born with a rare growth disorder. And around age five, Gabe was diagnosed with cancer. Even when he was going through the hardest time with the cancer, he just, he was happy. He was smiling and everybody just felt better around him. Gabe would relapse though. And sometime later, he'd be diagnosed with leukemia. He beat every single odd the doctors gave him. They didn't think that he'd survive that, and he did. Gabe didn't give up and just kept smiling. But there was something helping to keep Gabe upbeat during all of that. He loved his trucks. Trucks. He adored them. Big trucks, small trucks, fire engines, and semis. Any kind of truck you can think of, he would get for every Christmas, every birthday. We're it's what still comes to mind for Gabe's it's, aunt, it's Carrie Harold, as she thinks about him. Just last month, Gabe died unexpectedly after getting sick. But when it came time to honoring her late nephew, Carrie's husband thought of the trucks. What if they had a procession of trucks before his memorial service? Carrie's husband threw out the idea on Facebook, and the response was tremendous. His phone was blowing up for hours. Dozens of truckers wanted to participate. As of now, at least 50 will be there on Saturday. So it's our community. It's, our, it's, it's his followers. It's people that loved him. Someone's even coming up from Portland. Local first responders will take part in the procession too. Gabe loved fire trucks. It's really hard to describe the emotion that goes over with it. One by one, those trucks will pass by the church and sound their horns. It's as if they'll be saying bye to one of their biggest fans. He deserved it. And as of now, the plan is for all the trucks to meet at the Castle Rock Fairgrounds at around 11. They'll then get ready, do that procession again going by the church here in Castle Rock. Gabe's service is at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Guys. Oh, such a touching tribute for that family. Thank you, Taylor.